Well, hello there, friends. This is Dan, as always. Welcome the hell to Planet Coaster. Holy crap, this has been something I've been wanting to put on the channel for God knows how long. Ever since I saw uh, Flabiki and B00 play this game. Well, Flabiki first, to be honest, but I just haven't had the chance to get into the beta. It costs a lot of money. But now that it's out, for the public to enjoy, we're playing it. And holy crap, holy crap, you guys are going to be in for some very cool things. So welcome to this land, this empty land that we're going to be calling Whispering Stones. You guys might remember, I'm, I, have a, I have a series ongoing on my channel, Steamland, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Probably won't be continuing Steamland, and I had every intention on starting Steamland here in uh, Planet Coaster, but... I'm not good enough at the at the game just yet to get that detailed in. But for right now, where I'm at, I have a concept in mind of what I want to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get that stuff situated. Uh, time lapse, some, some terrain generation. So uh, sit back and enjoy some land masses being formed.
Thank <laughs> you.
And there we have it. The start of Whispering Stones. I know it looks a little bit like a nature preserve right now, but trust me, trust me, it's not going to be that. I only messed probably with the terrain generator for like 30 minutes or so, just kind of futzing around with the trees and the rocks and stuff, and you can actually do a lot. Uh, there's even terrain paints where you can like paint the, the materials in the back if you do not like them. It seems to be based on the map that you choose. Like, all my stuff's kind of this muted, like, yellow-green grassland color. Because we're in the grassland. And there's a reason for that. I actually kind of like the way this looked, so... It looks a little bit like we're in Africa. But trust me. Trust me, we are not in Africa. Um, so... I left the space open over here... For the, the entryway into what will eventually be the park. I'm going to build a custom building here, and I'm not quite sure exactly how everything's going to fit together and if it's going to make a lot of sense. It might be pretty small considering how close this cliff is to us. And I might just go ahead and uh, make more terrain and have it covered up and make it look like it's in a tunnel. You can actually add in more park entrances, but from what I've noticed, the, uh, the people coming in, uh, as these people walk up to it and go, Whoa, whoa, we don't want to go in there. That's not what we want. Uh... You can put in more than one of these, but they only use one, so it's kind of like there's there's not really much of a point. But the the ability to make more entry points exists. I think they can they only come up from over here though, from this uh, what is down here anyway? The entryway spawner looks like, huh? I've never been down here before. That's kind of interesting, huh? Okay, the people spawner, people spawner go out there. Okay, now we know. So. I have to say, though, I, I freaking love this terrain generator, or terrain creator thing. It's, can I can I not get a good view here? I mean, just, just look at this. Holy crap. Holy crap. It looks so cool. It looks so freaking cool. I still need to figure out exactly how to get nighttime to last longer, because currently, like, when nighttime hits, and we're not anywhere close to it, but it just kind of... Hangs around for like a minute and then it turns back to daylight. I'm like, dang it. How am I going to get my like, my lighting set up correctly? So, anyway. I want to show you guys something here. And this is going to be the the setup for what the theme for this area is going to be. It's not going to be what you think it is. I can assure you that. So, one thing you can do in this game that I kind of really liked is uh, you can save pre-built buildings... And I have these actually on the Steam Workshop if you want to use them yourself. Just uh, look up Off Planet Eats <laughs> or whatever. I'm giving away spoilers here, but I made these in a different game. This is actually a burger store with a restaurant attached. And I was originally going to go for a steampunk feel because I really want to recreate Steamland. But the, the simple fact is, is I'm not quite good enough at the uh, building stuff just yet. So maybe Steamland will come a little bit later. I haven't already said that, but what I ended up creating is this weird, like, hybrid sci-fi Moss Eisley Tatooine sort of restaurant place, and I just kind of ran with it. It's like, okay, yeah, we'll just uh, throw some sci-fi with some junky stuff and some stucco buildings, and there you go. Welcome to Moss Eisley. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum or villainy. I think I said that right, hopefully. Jeez. So, this is going to be kind of the theme we're going to go for. It's going to be like a hybrid between old world and technology. And I have two buildings I want to put in right here. I just need to figure out where exactly I want to put it. Uh, so I'm thinking this would probably be a good spot for it because I attached these two roads together. It only makes the most sense that it would be right over in this area somewhere. Actually, let's go ahead and put in the off-planet general store. This one's a little bit more... I'm not quite sure how to describe it. It's supposed to be a, a bit more... <laughs> it's not as cool as the other one. I built this one second. But, you know, what you gonna do? I think I want this to be on this side of the road, to be honest. Kind of like this. Can I... Hmm. So I can have it like that, and people will still be able to walk under. Let's see... Yeah, I guess we'll do this. So that's right there. Just a momento. Let's go ahead and put in that. Let's go ahead and add a pathway. I don't want my pathway to be huge. It's actually shortened the width, because you can control that very easily. 
Hmm. Drop those tunes. Go ahead and connect those two. And on the back side, we have a hospital. Or a first aid station. Uh, can we just do this? I'd love to do this. That doesn't look good. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. Away with you. Away with you, I say. Uh, how do we want to do this? We can do that. And then curve up. Is that, is that good? Is that a thing that we can do? Yeah, okay. I like that a lot better. Go around the back. Come on. I, I don't like the uh, pathway creator. It's it's not it's not very good. At least it's confusing and it's not yeah. I shouldn't say it's not very good because it actually is very good, but you know, you kinda you kinda have to mess with it a little bit and you kinda have to play with it and you'll eventually get it. Let's see, can I connect it to here still? See this is one of the things about it that's kinda no bueno. Like that that isn't very good. Let's do that. Um, come on. Hello. So, I guess we can do it like this. <laughs> We're gonna have to. And then just connect into there. Sure, okay, we'll do that. Oops. Oops, oops. Uh, yeah. There we go. Okay, okay. Okay, we're good there. Alright. Turn back the width down to zero, or one. I'd like to connect you. Get connected, please. Please get connected. Why will you not connect? I'd like to just to kind of flow here, but... Okay, okay, that works. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore, that's fine. Maybe we'll put in something over here to kind of hide this grass so it's not, like, so apparent. Uh, let's go back to my, my blueprints. Let's get Off Planet Eats. No, I haven't really seen these two in conjunction, so... With the two of them beside each other, this is kind of what I wanted to go for. Yeah, okay. Chief Beef. Chief Beef. Excellent foods to eat here. Okay, okay. This has come along pretty good. I'm liking this. Uh, pathways. Connect the two. There we go. There we go. We've got ourselves a little village coming up here. I do need to make another another set of them because we don't have a drink place. And maybe the drink place would be, like, right over in here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> I need to think about that. But that's kind of what we're going to be going for here. Uh, I feel like we need to put in at least something here. What do we got for rides? Um, Wild Blue, what is this? Okay. No, I don't really want that so close to here. Teacups? No. Sky Ace. Well, that's kind of cool. Insanity. Can put it out over here, maybe? Hyperspin. Who doesn't love the hyperspin? Uh, let's see. Gears of Fear. Oh! Well, there's something steampunk if I ever did not see it. 360 power. Yeah, I don't really want anything that crazy. Let's see. Who doesn't love a chair swing? I actually like the chair swing. It's one of my one of my more favorite rides to do. <laughs> and parks have them anyway. Uh, let's see. Let's put this over here. So you're coming through and you got the chair. First thing, maybe? First thing you see, you see the chair swing? Nah. I think I want this road to continue, so we will actually put this off to the side. Yes. Yes, that's what we'll do. Now, we're actually playing this in sandbox mode because I'm still getting a feel for the game. Trust me. Trust me, I am definitely planning 
on doing a challenge mode at some point, maybe when we get done with this park, we'll uh, consider doing such things as those. Uh, put the exit over here. Maybe just jump off into the main road? Nah. You do not want to do that. Uh, let's see, roads, pathways. Pathways and roads. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Okay. And then we will do queuing. We need our queuing. Where's our queue? Uh, small cobblestone square. Sure. There we go. And we don't need to worry about doing anything else. We'll rename it eventually, but for right now... Oh, hey, chair swing's open. Let's go ride the chair swing. <laughs> I like how they just turn, their, turn around immediately like, Oh, hey, let's check this out. Let's go ride this thing. All right, gotta go do that. Okay, so far so good. Um, we need something over here. Maybe like a seating area. Can we, can we do that? Are we skilled enough for such things? I hope so. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Okay. Uh, one thing that's different about this game than the previous, like, Roller Coaster Tycoon type games is that there actually is no need for security, so people won't be messing up your crap, which uh, I kind of appreciate in a way. Uh, but we do need to actually put in some facility people here. Where's our dudes? Park management. We need staff. You can also hire some, some people to do fancy things for you. Get to work, dude. Uh, we only need one of you guys, and we need another, another guy, mechanic. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Get to work. Get to work, you guys. Uh, let's see, scenery, scenery. I need parks and extras. Palace thrones. All right, that's cool. Sci-fi bin. Let me put these guys down here. These people will be leaving messes. I can guarantee you that. And maybe put one right here. Uh, park bench? Sci-fi bench. Wow, you can't... You can't put those actually at a... At an angle. That's interesting. I guess you can. It just looks awkward. I don't know if I like that. Okay, I can put one there. Alright, we'll put one there anyway, why not? Wait, is that facing backward? No. No, it's not. Okay. Don't know if anyone's gonna use that. We'll find out. But let's put a tree right here, just, just for the hell of it, just to kinda... Hide this, maybe, a little bit? No. It's a little too big. This one's probably a better size, yeah. And let's go back to rocks. I like these indigenous rocks, or is that how it's... Deciduous. Deciduous rocks are pretty cool. Alright, we'll put one there. Put some more rocks around, just, just for the hell of it. And... let's see. What else can we put in here? Uh... Let's put this right here. No. <laughs> that will not work. Biopod. Hmm. Hmm. Cargo crate. Because, you know, in the future, everything needs to be made out of metal and plastic and such. kind of like these things, though. We should put one of these over here. To kind of give it more of the, uh, the fusion between the old and the new. Or a campfire. <laughs> That'd be funny. That'd be hilarious. Ooh, what is that? 
Cider Press Edge play. Well, people are coming in by droves. Look at that. Holy crap. Guys, it's just a chair swing. Seriously, it's just a chair swing. You don't need to be like all crazy about that. Holy holy crap, man. Holy crap. Um So there is things in here. Like this energy generator that is gigantic. I guess it would make sense to have one of these around here somewhere, wouldn't it? Uh, maybe over here somewhere, maybe behind. Yeah, we'll worry about that later when we figure out what we want to do with uh, the, the, the place where people will get drinks from. Fueling station, yeah. Yeah, that makes perfect sense out here. I don't know if I like that. Hmm. This is this is the hard part about the game is figuring out what you want to do here, as far as putting in things that will match. Lunch bay doors. So that's for like riots and stuff. We don't want that. Huh. Speakers. What's this? ATM sign. Oh, okay. Not what we want. Radar dish. So you're sitting there eating your burger, and then a radar hits you in the back of the head. I don't think so. <laughs> what is this? Radioact radioactive tank. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Let's put that right by the food. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy that. That's for you guys. Robotic arm. Nah. Uh, space space cockpits. I mean, that'd be kind of a cool place for it, but it kind of covers up a lot. You can't actually, you can't actually make, if you ever so wanted to, ooh, dry ice, um, like spaceships and stuff. I've seen some people make them. They're actually pretty cool. Dry ice. Huh, that's not so bad. People are like, nah, we don't want no food. We're not hungry. <laughs> you will eat it, and you will like it flamethrowers. That's pretty cool. Oof. Burn you! Wow. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. No, no, we're getting sidetracked now. We're getting sidetracked. Oh! Oh! Oh dear! Look at that. Okay. Thatched barn! Too big. Trooper shooting. Yeah, he's shooting, all right. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe we just put some just trees in here or something. I don't want to cover it up too much. All right, we at least need to put in one more ride here somewhere. So maybe on this side, on this corner, we'll do another little tiny ride. Uh, maybe this one will be more of a thrill ride, perhaps? Let's try one of those. Uh, thrill rides. 360 power. Mm, Sky Ace. Yeah, we'll put Sky Ace over here. Uh, it's not going to fit here. There we go. Mace the entrance. Get placed entrance. Um, right over here. Place an exit. Right over here. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. That's what we want. We want paths. Paths is what we want. Ba -da -da. Let's see, that's a cue. We don't want to mess with that. I like the music in this game. Uh, best way I can describe it, it's it's kind of like summer. Like, if you think of summer, you'll kind of have an idea of what the music is. So, I mean, you can hear it. You can hear this music. Ooh, 
This queue is going to be exceptionally long. Holy crap. Alright. That's probably as far as we want to go. Uh, let's actually add a, another road heading out. Uh, da -da -da. There we go. Paths. Let's see. Maybe... Maybe right over here. Yeah, okay. And... Uh, da -da -da. Let's see. We want to put it back to a wide path. Well, yeah, that that's nice, but I'd like you to continue after that. There you go. Cool. That's a little too wide, actually. Let's get rid of that. I don't like how wide that is. Uh, path again! Uh, basically, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to create main avenues. Because if you use one road type too much... People will actually start running into each other and they'll start complaining, Oh, it parks too crowded and I don't want to be here. At least that's how it seems to me. I don't I don't really know. So there is a strategy to having width, I believe. As far as uh your your pathways. So consider that as you go forward and be awesome at what you do. Uh, let's see, I want this to connect like that. There we go. And open this ride. Make it happen. New things for people to enjoy. Get in line and have fun, you suckers. I'm not quite sure what this thing does, so maybe we will sit back and watch this thing do its thing. As people get in line. Yes, come ride this thing. Be terrified. While we're waiting, let's put in some more trees. Uh, can we put a tree here? No. It's not gonna let me do it. I can put one right here, though. Be, be shaded. Be shaded from the harsh sun, my children. Be shaded. Can I stack a tree on top of a tree? <laughs> oh my god, you can do that? That's so cool. I didn't know you could do that. That's another thing about this game that's incredible. Like from Roller Coaster, to Roller Coaster Tycoon Three, cannot stack anything in the same spot, and I'm just so happy. I'm just so you have no idea how happy it makes me to have the opportunity to be free from that stuff. Holy crap! When I get around to Steamland again, you guys better be prepared. Oh god! Oh god! I could, I could eat. Ooh. Ooh. What's going on here? I'm liking this music. That was that was pretty cool actually. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How are we doing down here guys? Are we having a good time? Everybody's having a good time? Glad to hear it. And I think that about wraps up the very first episode of Whispering Stones Planet Coaster. Expect more Planet Coaster coming very soon, hopefully, to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one, so uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you later.